Let's use the extend command to stretch out the blue lines in the center of the screen to the opposite sides to the objects you see on either side, the spline curve on the right and also the rectangle and the line that you see here. So I'm going to use the extend command which is right up here. Now if you, normally what you would see is a trim command right here. So select the down arrow, choose extend, and pick the boundary edge. Where do you want to take the objects to? Let's, let's pick the spline on the right hand side first of all and enter. Now what you could do is pick each one of these objects and extend them over to here or you could use an F for fence and cross over the endpoints like this and hit the enter key and they all go at one time. All right, I'm going to enter, start the command one more time. I'm going to say that I want boundary edges. Here's the boundary edge right here. Enter. I'm going to now pick my objects, F for fence. Go over this way, way and enter. And you'll notice what happened. I'm going to enter, hit the escape key. This one didn't go because it doesn't meet this. There's no physical connection here. This would be out, go shoot past here in space. So what you have to tell AutoCAD is that there's an implied extension here for this to hit this line out in space. Let's do that again. Here's my boundary line. Enter. Now I'm going to key an E for edge. And notice it says extend. Normally it says no extend. I keyed in an E before this and it's, it's still there. I'm going to hit the enter key and pick the object I want to extend to and enter. So that's extension means it's going to go to the, the uh, theoretical intersection of where those points would be. So uh, in this case, I have a line, which it will work that way. The line will come, this line will come out and meet the vertical line uh, in that manner. Um, so this is a case where you have to watch and set up that option. So when you hit the enter command, run the command one more time, select the objects, here's your boundary object, enter. Here's the one you want to E for edge when you want to switch it over from no extend to extend and the line will then meet that other line.